Hey, hey, it's this thing called Charlie. Yeah, he's doing it. It's me. Yes, me. It's Johnny Sports. Welcome to a new video. Guys, I am excited to announce that this is episode Tres, let me know in the comments down below what is uh, number four in your language. Yes, we are bringing it back, boys. Now, in today's episode, guys, we can take a quick little look at the performances of episode numero dos. And uh, for that reason, we're going to realize that Andres Silva has been outstanding. Three games, two goals, one assist so far. One game in the Bundesliga, one goal. Gacinovic has been really good as well. And we have made some great transfers as always guys if you're hyped about this episode go ahead and do whatever you want to do but most importantly just turn on notifications on this channel it is december it's double uploads every day at the moment so i need you to go ahead and do what is needed to do to take us to 300,000 subscribers guys that is the big goal on the second channel we have already started going towards 20,000 subs which is my goal for the second channel in december so i have big goals for this month and hopefully i'll be able to achieve them with your help yes with your help so in today's episode guys let's take a quick little look into the team and we will have a look into the fan objectives as well in just a second but exactly because of the reason that this team plays in a different formation and it's such an odd formation to play with i have actually really liked this team it just gives me a completely different feeling when i'm playing my games and um, also, I actually think Endika is incredible. Like, literally, I've enjoyed him so much. We have brought in Lima in the last episode, and we have also brought in Tabata. So I'm excited about these two players. I'm excited to try them out. Also, Martinelli hasn't gotten his debut yet. Jovelic hasn't gotten his yet debut yet. And Tabata, same goes for him. And of course, Lima as well. So we're going to see how these players actually fit in into the squad in today's episode. And of course, we still have 17 million left with Bas Dost as a trading option in the club and that is definitely something that we want to use in um, yeah moving forward with the transfer deals now we do have a couple of comments right here here is one from David and he says please sign Joaquin Correa nice offensive all-rounder he could play as a cam center forward and striker and try to do a swap deal with Dost I would love to see him at Frankfurt Correa First of all, Angel Correa was one of my favorite, um, um, what's, it, what's it called, my favorite talents back in the day. And then this Joaquin came out and I was like, hmm, interesting. This guy does look decent as well. Now he has a release clause of 35.5 million, as you guys can see, which is going to be tough to achieve. But I can go right into this deal and we can try and sign this man up because you guys want to see him in the team. 64 people have given a like to that comment. It only is going to work if we can offer um, Bastost in return. If not, it's just not going to work, guys. And we have to accept that. Bastost. Well, are they ex no, they're not interested. So sadly, we are not going after Joaquin Correa, guys. We cannot afford him with the budget that we have. So um, we tried it with Dost and Dost just, no one wants him. <laughs> and I do understand why. Also, your boy definitely needs a trim. A new trim, a trim is massively needed. I can just I, just, I just look homeless and I don't like it. Now, in terms of fan objectives, guys, we have two new fan objectives. That means we have one left fan objectives down below. Hashtag fan objectives to get the last spot filled. The first one, trap that goal. We haven't gotten a clean sheet yet, of course. Uh, the youngins, we now have two out of 15 already. I'm pretty sure that we will have to upgrade that. Herzen von Europa, we will be working on throughout the season. The new Jovic is one of the new ones. It is coming in from Andrei Krizanovic, and he says, Hashtag fan objectives the new Jovic get 15 scorer points with Dejan Jovelic, the youngster that we have on the bench who is 70 rated, now has an objective that belongs to him. The Golden Boy Award nominee is now going to be taking part or taking a 
on a bigger role in this career mode. And then you have Muman Ahmad who says, hashtag fan objectives, Eagles Eye, get 10 assists with Kostic as he did last season. It was one of the best individual performances in the club's history. So yes, we have included Eagles Eye. So far, Kostic hasn't gotten a single assist, but hopefully we can work on it and get him there soon enough. Now, today's episode is going to be starting off with some transfer business. And then after that, guys, it's going to be first against second, Leipzig against Frankfurt, Lima against his former club, big big game ahead. Here it is now we get another offer for Kavar this time for 2.2 mil from Melbourne by the way the realism mod is working again Fiverr has updated it hence why the players are worth more hence why buying players now is going to be even tougher than it was before so maybe our best shot is looking through the release clauses of a couple of players and seeing if we can find anyone that could fit into the team. After looking through literally every single top league in the world, I have realized that basically on release clause, guys, there is no one that we can buy. So what we have to hope for is that someone comes in for Bastos and then in the January transfer window, we'll be able to sign some new players. I think we have made enough signings anyways. All the new signings now will be listed for you to understand who has joined into the squad. Lima, Elvedi, um, Martinelli, Tabata, um, Robertone, and then we have no one else. Those are the players that we have brought in into this season. I'm excited to see what we can achieve with this team until the January transfer window to then move forward and just basically understand how good our team is and then improve on the positions that we definitely need improvements in. Bayern Munich have already won their next game. So one draw, one loss, uh, one draw and one win so far for Bayern. Dortmund probably at the top. Yes, Dortmund and Leverkusen both have now six points. Leverkusen hasn't conceded a single goal. Jonathan Ta doing a good job. Here it goes then, up against one of the best goalkeepers in the Bundesliga at the moment. Gulashi is a great goalkeeper. Adams, one of my favorite players in the past. Ryan Adams, if you guys remember from the FIFA 19 career modes, Yusuf Pausen and Timo Werner that need to be stopped now it's going to be Campbell force back Yusuf and then Werner up against R3 at the back formation I don't know how well that is going to go but I'm going to try my best boys as we jump right into this game against one of the top sides in the league and Lima is making his debut immediately against his former side Adams is replacing him I'm guessing at that Leipzig lineup here we go that could be a counter if I didn't play that pass so terribly we do have people Move in with us though, Andre Silva brings it back into So. So, can you actually score inside the box? No, he cannot. That is one of the qualities that I'm not too sure with, with So. I think Kamada in that case would be the better choice, but we'll see. As long as So keeps on performing like he did in the first couple of matches, of course, he can keep his position, but Kamada is right there just waiting for his chance. There's some good passing now by Leipzig. That is exceptional passing, actually. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. Kevin Trapp once again with a huge save. That guy never disappoints, does he? Oh, wow. Adams, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Leipzig. All right. We are being dominated right now, and I don't like it. Beautiful. Gacinovic now through. Gacinovic. Has Kostic in support? Kostic, get in! Kostic is scoring again. The man with the 90 plus stamina is running for the entire game and he will never stop getting into those types of positions. It is 1-0 against one of the strongest sides in the league. And that is great to see because so far they were dominating this game. But Frankfurt is here to stay boys we're here to fight for those top positions and that is a great goal beautiful passing play and Gacinovic once again proves how much of a good player he is I am impressed with him especially so far in this career mode I feel like offensively I do have a great setup but defensively I am very vulnerable at least that's how I feel right now with this three at the back formation normally when you have like a three at the back you tend to play 3-5-2 in the um, 5 at the back anyways when you're defending. But right now, I haven't really felt that with this team unless their build-up takes too long. When their build-up is quick like this right here, I am left with three defenders most of the time as Yusuf Paulsen tries to get in there. And then they take a shot. 
which ends up being a corner. Yusuf pals in, it's a great ball and it's another big save from Kevin Trapp. Unreal, unreal, he is the man of the match so far. Oh no, oh come on. After all those amazing saves, it had to be a lucky goal. It is coming off the post and then it lands right in front of the feet of Timo Werner. And a striker like him will always be in the right position. It's 1-1. It is going to be a tough one here. We are struggling against this Leipzig side. And I feel like that one goal that we scored was the only proper break we had. And the card, good steal there. Terrible pass for myself. That is going to be 2-0, isn't it? Yeah, that 2-1, actually. I did mess up there. I will blame myself for that goal. I should have done much better, knowing that Endika would pass it right into our opponents, or actually that was Da Costa. I still did it, and I paid for it. 2-1. We were up 1-0 just a few seconds ago, and now the entire game is upside down. I wish he had skill moves, man. I wish he did. At least he can do that for us. Rode brings it back in. Silva, great turn, left-footed finish. Oh no, Silva. Buddy, that has to be a better finish. So just waiting for the run of Da Costa. Beautiful play, Da Costa looking for that option in the middle. And that has to be at least a yellow card. In my opinion, could have been a red card as well for Heistenberg, but he gets away with it. We're going to be crossing this one towards the far post. It's Gacinovic against Pausen, and he actually wins that. Impressive from that little fella. Oh, that's a run from Gacinovic. Gacinovic in behind once again. Gacinovic. Oh my god, what a tackle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This defense is not bad, you know. Oh wow, Dortmund have signed Mertens. What a signing for Dortmund. They were lacking that one top world-class striker and they now have it. I'm telling you. Dortmund is 100% going to be a title contender this season. There's no way that team with Mertens up front does not win any trophies unless we can stop him. Everybody, oh my god, what am I doing? Kostic, awful, 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 awful. <sighs> We're down 3-1. Silva sadly not showing any of the promise that he has shown earlier on. Joveljic now coming in. Martinelli now coming in. And then it's going to be Tabata down the right. The right-hand side is going to be used. All of these players are right-footed except Tabata. We will have to go all out and just abuse that right wing. We are struggling against the better sides in the Bundesliga, guys. We started off well, but this game has completely shown the issues with this type of formation. Defensively, it is a very, very tough one to deal with. As our opponents just keep on creating attack after attack. And Kevin Trapp can only save that many. It's going to be the referee blowing the whistle. And that is the first. The first disappointment of the season. From this one we will have to learn a lot of things. And after starting off so well into the game. After creating chances. After having possession for a while. We've actually messed it up in the end man. They had 10 shots on target defensively we were out of our league right now you could tell it just didn't work out for us even though our defenders had some good ratings on them we have done decent defending with them with the tackles but in the end it just didn't work out leipzig their strike force was just too strong well that performance was something to look at and learn that is going to be a process that we have to go through in this career mode we have to understand how this formation work we have to understand how we can actually defend better um, I think one of the things that we might need to do is to tell Sebastian Rode to stay back while attacking and then tell these guys to definitely come back on defense because without them, we are just completely open up front. Um, Silva is the only one that I'm going to tell to say get in behind and then stay forward as well. But those are the instructions, the initial ones that we will be uh, giving our players at the moment. In the league table, we have now dropped down to the eighth position you can see Leipzig has gone up into that first spot due to the win against us which had a lot of goals for them now next up though it's going to be Fortuna Dusseldorf if I'm not seeing it wrong and Kavar has finally been sold so with that we have another two million added into the budget which is great 
And then we have a message as well. Kavar is sold 1.6 mil added into the budget, 18.6 million to spend. And I do feel like I do need a center attack in mid. But then again, I do have Kamada and Robertone who can both play a center attack in mid. So I'm slowly thinking maybe we start playing Kamada. Who has the better shooting? Actually, Robertone has the best shooting out of these. All right, we're going to give Robertone a chance. He's going to start in the next game. We're going to see how he plays. If he plays well, he's going to keep his position. Those positions are going to be highly contested. Um, so he's going to get his chance now. Well, guys, from what I've seen so far, we're not getting any offers, especially not for Bastos. The transfer window is done. And with that, the transfer deals have finally finished. And we can take a closer look into the transfers that have moved into the Bundesliga, most importantly. So, Firmino. What? Hold up. So, Dortmund have brought in Bobby Firmino and Mertens. That is incredible. I cannot wait to play against Dortmund, man. That is going to be very exciting. Bayer Leverkusen have brought in Kramaric from um, Hoffenheim. Dortmund also brought in Dries Mertens. Any other players? Gaia has joined Dortmund as well. What the hell happened? Do they have like a financial takeover? They even got Joe Gomez. Lads, this is mental. Kevin Folland has joined Bayern Munich. Schalke have brought in Guano. Zuma has joined Wolfsburg. Leipzig have brought in Frazier. Yo, these are some good signings, man. Zielinski, Hoffenheim, we've already played against him, obviously. Melendo from the Valencia career mode has joined Leipzig. Wow, I'm actually impressed with all these signings, man. Good job from Dortmund especially. They are going to be a force to be reckoned with this season. We're up against Dusseldorf, though, and I am expecting, I'm half expecting a victory here. We are playing at home, so here it goes, guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to watch it from back here. We're already 1-0 down. Get in. Come on, Eintracht. Come on, boys. Let's do it, man. Yes, all there. 1-1, one, one. all right. Come on now. Let's see more. Let's see more. Let's see more goals, guys. We're playing at home. I am expecting a victory. Who the hell is Pledel? Elvedi, 2-2. Two, two. Come on now. Someone step up and score. 3-2, come on. 3-2. Unbelievable. Unbelievable from these guys. That performance is once again shocking. And Frankfurt keep dropping in the league table. That's not what we wanted to see. Eintracht, I do need to see more. Silva, 80. Martinelli, 72. All right, that's good. Guys, next up is a game that is going to be a tough one. It is against Augsburg, who technically aren't really on our level, especially like in terms of the team and the skill that our players possess. By the way, Ginta in that picture looks like Jim Carrey for some reason. But um, we have... Frankfurt now in the ninth position with four points, guys. If we don't win this game, we're going to lose the connection to the top of the league. That is not something that we can allow to happen. We desperately need a victory right here. And for that reason, we're going to play this game and, of course, jump in there and try to get the best result possible. Hopefully, with the new sliders, it's going to be better. Um, with the Not with the new sliders, with the new instructions, it's going to be better. So... Let's step in there and see what we can do in one of the biggest games so far this season because it will cost us that connection to the top of the league. So I desperately need a victory. Oh no! No! No way! They actually have any Spardi! I cannot believe it! Any Spardi is playing against me. Lads! For the first time I can remember personally, we are playing against Enis Bardi. I'm extremely excited to see what he can do against us. This, this game now has an even more of an importance. I am so excited. Enis Bardi is playing as a left wing for them. That is interesting. Or they are playing in a 4-2-3-1 and he plays it as, as a left attack in mid. But Enis loses the ball right there. You can see he has a connection to us. He wants to help us out, maybe. Beautiful ball into Lima. Lima, not really the best offensive player, but he's going to bring that ball into Silva. Silva, Lima, I needed to pass that across one more time. Kacinovic, Silva, Kacinovic, Silva, yes! 
Come on! Beautiful play between these two, man. These two guys, Gacinovic and Silva, have been the outstanding performers in that attacking position. Look at that play. It's exactly what you want to do when you're up against two defenders. You want to do the little tiki-taka in between each other. But on top of that, you need a quality finisher. And now Silva is 80 rated and you can immediately see the impact on his finishing right there. Coach is happy. I'm happy. Third kit being used for the first time, which is also a nice thing. Interesting passing as they get into the defense of ours. And it's yet another match where Kevin Trapp won't be getting a clean sheet, man. I genuinely don't know how I'm supposed to get 15 clean sheets. By the way, there is a forfeit attached to the trap that goal objective, which means um, I would have to wear an Everton kit for five episodes. So yeah, that's literally the worst forfeit of all time. And I definitely don't want to do that. So I will have to try my hardest to get some clean sheets, boys, throughout this entire season for my boy Kevin Trapp. Otherwise, it's looking quite bad. And not even in simulations have we gotten any clean sheets yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't let him shoot again. Kevin Trapp, good save this time. Doesn't let it fly past him. As we get close to the 60th minute, we need to make the changes. Martinelli, Jovelic, these guys are now coming back into the game. And I'm going to use Kamada this time. Kamada comes in now in that camp position. I need a goal desperately. I need these three points. It's going to be Vargas down the wing. Can they get a second one right here? Augsburg coming with the cross and Dika prevents it from happening. Good tackle by Elvedi, and here we go in the 77th. I need support, I need Kamada to make that run. Kamada, come on now, come on now Kamada. Far side, I see Kostic, can we get that crossover? We can't. Eintracht, man, it's just not the same Eintracht that I know. We might have to bring back Ante Rebic, I'm not even kidding guys, we are struggling. Martinelli now though. Martinelli, outstanding, get in, yes! Gabriel Martinelli, out of all the players to score, it's the Arsenal man coming in on a deal. Yes, <laughs> we've done it. Beautiful. That was exactly what I needed, guys. I was getting worried. I thought we might not get it done. I even thought about bringing back Rebic, but instead, it is Martinelli showing his quality and his composure inside the box. It was a close one. It just about dropped in, but we're going to take it 2-1 up against Augsburg in a must-win game. Indica, Kamada, down the wing goes Kostic again. Kostic will stop. We'll bring it back in. Gabriel Martinelli, Arsenal man, nearly gets it done for the team. Good attempt, I guess. Only one more minute to be played. Referee will be blowing his whistle anytime soon. And with that, we will have picked up three points. Get in. Yes, boys. That was so needed. I felt like I was falling apart in the first game. And I thought against Augsburg, we had to win and we performed. We did what we needed to do and we have shown class in front of the target with Martinelli, his goal. I am very excited to see our team win this one because it was a big struggle, but the Arsenal man steps up and scores, which is very nice to see. Well, guys, Martinelli has done it in the Bundesliga. Now the question is... Can he do it against his former side as well? Premier League side Arsenal is going to be our first matchup in the Europa League. And for that reason, I'm excited to see what we can do. But I personally do think, guys, we might have to think about the fact that this formation is not working for us. As much as I want to keep playing with a Eintracht Frankfurt type of formation, I just feel like four at the back would probably be the better choice. But then... I would have to decide between Endika and Envedi, and I don't know who the player should be that should be playing, but yeah, we'll have to see. Is there any other three, three at the back formation that just works better defensively, or maybe even a five at the back? Maybe we just need to drop back Kostic and Da Costa even further down the pitch, and then we can have everyone down the middle in the same type of way. Let me know what you guys think about the formation. I definitely do need help, and of course, 
in the fan objectives that you're seeing on your screen right now please let me know about the last fan objectives that is necessary and of course give me forfeits hashtag forfeits into the comments down below next episode i want to have the fan objectives completely set up with the forfeits as well so thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day martinelli gets the player of the episode in this one with his very very important goal have a great day guys take care and hold on hold on no nope. don't leave yet don't leave yet now you know we're in the eighth position peace